Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Tresor. Let's check out this model. But again, before we do, right here is the link and up in the corner is my QR code. Open up your phone, you can scan that link and it will take you straight to my mobile app and you'll get home uh, directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow, Realtor.com. Let's get into this one. So again, I know I say it in all my videos, but if you are thinking about buying a new home, want to see new homes, make sure to bring a realtor with you the first time you go see the models. If you fill out information online or if you go into the sales office, you will be working straight with the home consultant. And just fun fact, by the way, they don't represent you. They actually re represent the builder. So if you have questions, all my info is down in the description below. I love this. So three car garage right off the back, right off the bat little bit about this community so this is a lennar community this is tressor we're gonna be looking at i know a lot of people's favorites this is actually a next gen this is the andorra this one right here is 4281 square feet two story five bed four and a half bath excuse me why do they mm, it says four and a half but then they also have a half bath so i'm guessing it's just four and a half and then three car garage now this one starts at 961, 990. So you have your courtyard. What's cool about this courtyard is you actually have a door here. So you could put like some cool things out here. I'd almost want to do like a little fountain. And then that right there is our next gen suite. So that leads us into the apartment. Now do me that huge favor and make sure to hit the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. Let's get into this. So HOA, I believe is about 103 a month. And then the lot premiums, I'm not entirely sure how much those are. And as you can clearly see it, this community is so new. They don't even have the backyards done yet. So the models are just barely, barely done. Let's go ahead and go on upstairs and we'll work our way back down. So again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Little thing about Lennar, they do what they call everything is included. So I would say 95% of the stuff you're seeing is included. I will point out some options and features. One of the biggest features that they have added into this house is the flooring. There's probably $30,000 in flooring. And then just knowing Lennar, a lot of times, if you want the upgraded railing, just knowing how they do business, usually standard is pony wall. And then you upgrade to this, and then with this, you also get upgraded cabinets. And I'm seeing what looks like they're upgraded cabinets. So let's start off all the way down here. So do keep in mind, they're gonna also do backsplashes. So there's probably, I don't know, 50 grand still put into this house. So I'm guessing this home is probably over a million dollars before the lot premium. And I know in past communities, they've had lots go up to 250,000. First room, laundry room. So they did the uppers. Again, those will be included. I wanna check. So they are the soft closing. I'm guessing those are upgraded, just knowing them. You have your area for washer dryer. You have an awesome, awesome folding area with the sink. Love the huge wash basin. And then right here, this is our smart panel. These are smart homes. They're gonna come with a ring doorbell, all that kind of stuff. And then I'll show you, in the ceiling, they put these little boxes that emit all the Wi-Fi. What you do right here is you just put your router and modem in there, and then there's no dead spots in these homes. First bedroom, this is nice. Oh, look how fun this is. I love the Mandalorian. So, full-size bed, two dressers they're huge nightstands and this is a nice size room they're also looking like they're doing like the eight inch maybe seven inch um, baseboard huge window I do know in most of their communities now they are including the window treatments the blinds we have our another dresser right here <laughs> that's cool I feel like people are gonna want to take this stuff just it's also fun to see different rooms different designs obviously with this community being so new they're gonna try to have fun with it they're doing eight foot doors nine foot ceilings and then 
you have your center cap for your light and ceiling fan. One thing I did notice, we'll come back to it, but I'm only seeing one light switch, which is kind of surprising. Turning on in here, whoa, huge walk-in closet. Really, really big walk-in closet, even with the window in here. And I like that it's way up there so that, you know, it still is a little bit more private, unlike some of the other builders where they do a huge one right in here. But one thing I'm noticing is there's only one light switch. So that has to go for there. So if you have a fan and light, you're only gonna get one light switch. And one other thing about Lennar is they do not offer any sort of lighting packages, which I really wish they did. I know so many people want the can lighting. That's one of my biggest complaints with them. But other than that, so far, really, really nice. Right here, coming down that hall, first bath. So we have a door here and it looks like there's gonna be another door in there. Nice wide spot. Again, these are one of the standard countertops. I do believe these are slightly upgraded because usually you don't get the hardware. Double vanity, nice and big. Then again, no medicine cabinets. I know they're getting kind of, I don't wanna call them outdated, but more and more builders are choosing not to put them in. I do like that we have probably like 10 inches of drop space, so it makes this whole spot feel way, way bigger. We have our fiberglass composite tub and fiberglass composite insert. There's your shower head. You do have a window up there. You have your valve and your tub filler. Mm, I wish they had chose just a different style that had either like a shelf or larger lip, just so you could do soaps and shampoos. You're gonna get like the little shower caddy that hangs over the shower head if you wanna hang anything in there. But all in all, nice. Again, flooring is upgraded right here. See, this is what I mean. I don't know if you can already tell like how dark this room is. Again, it doesn't have a ceiling light and I can guarantee you pretty much everyone will put one, but I wish they would offer can lighting. I know the blinds are slightly closed, but twin bed, two nightstands, nice size room, really nice size room. We have three door closet and we have our dresser. I do I am appreciating how big these rooms are. Sometimes the builders build such little teeny tiny rooms. Oh, whoa. What is this? Uh, oh, I remember the movie. What is it called? It's like the Harry Potter thing. Um, imaginary. Oh, imaginary beasts and where to find them. Right here, coming on out. Huge loft, really, really big loft. But before we check out the loft, let's check out this bedroom first. So next bedroom is massive this could be a master bedroom it is that big but i'm guessing it's not since it is right here again if i didn't mention we are in henderson today right there's your cap for your pre-wire and so since they don't have it yeah so see a lot of times what the builders will do is even put three light switches here one for one of the uh outlets the receptacles so then you can do a night light and then two for up there one for the fan one for the light so i'm kind of surprised because they have done that before in a lot of their other communities so it looks like they're switching it up we have massive walk-in closet really nice size closet and then you can see just how big this room really is it's it's large we have our cable jack nice bedroom and then I'll show you where we are when we get over to the loft. Nice, nice big room. This is even an ensuite. So we have our own bathroom with it. We have our vanity, same stone, same sink, same hardware, same faucet. And again, it is a nice size bathroom. Toilet, because you can even see it pushes out like four or five inches. And then we have our tub. So again, same exact tub, same exact hardware, fiberglass composite. One of the nice things about fiberglass is it's easier to clean. There's no grout lines. Not bad. Again, I just, I don't know what it is about Lennar. I wish they would give us more lighting. There's just one light in here. We do have a nice big window, but when it gets dark, you know, cause they're not doing shower glass. I mean, you could do it after you take delivery, but if you have a dark curtain, it's going to get dark in that tub. 
other than that, really big room, huge room. We even have our little chair. So, coming on out and in to this loft. Sitting area and huge gathering area. What a fun room. How cool is this light? I know some people just watch the channel for like ideas. They're like glass bottles with one of those um, Edison lights in it. Huge loft, like very, very large loft. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go outside a lot of times since there's no sales associates here. They don't let you open the sliders, don't let you open up the backyard. Let's try. Oh, wow, I'm very surprised actually. So you are going to get a covered balcony and it's a big, big covered balcony. It even goes all the way over there. So the master's over there, huge balcony. And then just wanna show you where we are today. So this one is going to even have a pool. So again, like you can see, we are just, the community is so new. They haven't even finished off everything. Right there is the Vegas Strip. So really nice views. It's like you're king of the mountain up here. You can even see the other models. They're still building the pools right there. So, coming back in, just want to give you a quick spin so again you can see everything. We have our tree, huge couch. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's kind of a joke how big it is. It's really, really large. And then if we spin back on over, this would be such a fun place just to hang out up here. I feel like most people would probably just stay up here. I mean, the kitchen, I haven't shown you yet. I just walked in it really quickly. It's pretty nice. So, master suite, French door, double entry, and big room, really, really large room. You have access to the balcony right there, king size bed. They have the bench, two nightstands. You have the one window, but your views. And then not even dresser, like TV console almost. They are gonna give you like the drop wires behind the wall so that you can hide the wires. We have our chair, we have our plant. And then again, just walking right up here, here's your view. So I wanna spin back around. It's a large room. I love the fact that they're giving you the slider straight from here out to the balcony. Coming into the bath. So storage, you have the lowers, you have the uppers. Now, I don't believe they're gonna be doing two-tone paint anymore. They kind of got away from that maybe like two years ago. So everything is gonna be white paint. And then one other thing that Lennar is starting to do is that you don't get to pick which lot or which home you're getting. They're starting construction prior, so it's kind of a take it or leave it at this point. You have your toilet, you have your window, and awesome, awesome bathroom. So, separate vanities, and there's even, huh, we'll get over there in a minute, but I'm kind of surprised that they didn't do that open because it looks like it would be a makeup counter. I know, at least from the fiance, she likes to sit at her makeup counter. So, right here we have our separate tub, separate shower. They tiled everything. You have the rain shower head, you have the standard shower head. It's so close to be perfect. Ugh, I just, either a bench or my soap niche. I think the bench though would have been perfect. Just right there, do the bench. Awesome shower, awesome freestanding tub. And then this makes me so happy. They put privacy glass above the tub. I know some builders, it's a quite a peekaboo. I kind of joke about it being a Vegas window and giving off free shows. Really happy to see privacy glass. Right here, we spin directly around. We have our first vanity and it is nice. Tons of counter space. You have your undermounted sink and I'm not 100% sure 
but I'm pretty sure they are giving picture frame mirrors, at least in the master. Again, they're doing floating vanities. So mirror image right here. And oh my, I'm gonna point out something here in a second. Nice, again, tons of space. You have your picture frame mirror, but this is so odd. Like, wow. Our towel rack or rod is over here. Our tub's here and our shower's here. We're talking like, I don't know, what, 15 feet maybe? It's, it's a marathon away. I don't know why they did that. It's so strange. Right here we have our, what I would guess to be makeup counter, but I'm really surprised that, like it would've been awesome if they left these and then cut this all out to put the chair right there. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I completely like losing my mind? I just know, especially with the fiance, she likes to sit at her vanity to do the makeup. I don't know, leave a comment down below. What do you think? I mean, this is so close to being perfect. The bench and the towel rod and cut open that hole. Let's see what we have right here. We're getting into our closet. So tons of shelving. We even have a window in here. And I know I appreciate the window. I could see either or, because you do lose quite a bit of space, but this closet is so big. I would do, you could do two islands in this closet. Double bar, single bar. And then I'm gonna come all the way over here. Really, really big closet. A lot of times builders, they call, there's a company out here called Las Vegas Closets or Closets Las Vegas to do them. And they make them really, really nice. Ooh, I want my bench. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this so far. We haven't even seen the next gen suite. We haven't even seen downstairs. Let's go ahead and go check out those two. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really does help the channel out. Again, if you have any questions, if you want to schedule a private tour, give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Would love to help you out. Let's go ahead and head on down and check out what else we have. So right here, they always keep them locked. That's the two car garage. The third is on the other side. Give you a little sneak peek right here but nice, I really like this downstairs. So, coming on down, right here we have our powder room. Big powder room, nice powder room. Again though, the lighting, I feel like it's so dark in here because there's just the one light. Um, I would have liked to see a vanity light. I know more and more builders are getting away from them. I think they think that it looks sleeker, but it just, it's very dim. Coming in, so there will be a door here. This is the apartment, the next gen suite. Other builders call it multi-gen. Ooh, this is a big one. So, oh, this is so nice. Okay, so we're gonna start all the way down here. That single car garage actually comes into the next gen. And this is one of the biggest next gens I have ever seen. So that is the courtyard. Just so you can see really quickly. The front door was right here. Here's our courtyard. Here's that single car garage. And then this is one, again, this is one of the biggest next gens I've seen. I'm gonna spin around just so you can see. It's kind of strange how they laid it out though, because why did they put the table here and the chairs over there with the TV here? I, hmm. I would have put the dining table right here, move these two chairs over here, and that would have made so much more sense. I think they're trying to make it seem even bigger, but it's kind of funny. I don't know, what do you guys think? We have our tree. What a nice next gen kitchen. So whatever cabinet color the house is gonna come with is the cabinet color they're gonna put throughout the house. They're also gonna do the same stone throughout the house. And this is one of my favorite stones. They have like four or five different stones to choose from, like four or five different cabinet colors to choose from. Right here is our refrigerator. If we spin, Really quickly, we have our peninsula. Tons of storage in this one. You will get the stainless steel unmounted sink and you will get this faucet. Here's your view. And you can even see, they give you two more caps. One, two, one for above, 
like what you'd call the family living space and then one above the dining space. We spin back around, nice big windows, more storage, and then this is a convection microwave. So you can actually cook a chicken in that. It works like a stove, works like a microwave. You can get a crock pot. I've seen people put Instapots, hot plates, um, air fryers. They just can't put a cooktop and stove in here because then it's no longer single family uh, zoned. They even give you a phone jack. So coming on down farther and they did 11 foot ceilings. No, these are 10 foot ceilings down here. So really tall ceilings down here. Next gen bathroom. We have our vanity, same cabinet, same countertops. We have our picture frame mirror. I don't know how I feel about the green. It's a little like dull mint. We have our toilet and then this is always one of the things I do really appreciate about them. They do a shower only in the next gens because it makes so much more sense. There's no tub uh, lip to hop over. Right there is our shower head and plenty of little seating, little spots to put soaps and shampoos. The towel rod makes sense. <laughs> it's right by the shower. Coming on down into the next gen bedroom. Uh, interesting. So they set this one more up as an office space. I know a lot of people have actually been saying they would want to do this as well. Turn this into like either like a yoga studio or an office space or something like that. But this technically would be the bedroom and it's big. You could fit a king size bed, two nightstands and the whole nine yards. It's very, very large. You can see this desk is probably, oh, I don't know, three feet by six feet. I would love this. I'm trying to get my videos out for my second YouTube channel, but I want like a nice space to film and I'm having to move around my office. What? Oh, I would die if I could create a studio in something like this. So huge, huge room. We'll get to the closet here in a second. And we even do have access to the backyard. Now these lots are going to be a little bit on the smaller side since they're basically built into the cliff. Coming on back and around, we have a massive closet in here. Really nice. And they do give you a washer dryer. You'll get this unit in here. They even put a fan to get the moisture out. Nice, really, really nice. I'm kind of surprised they didn't put a window in the closet on this one. So I feel like that would have been a good use. I know a lot of people like to keep like the window open when they're washing their clothes and stuff like that to help with moisture as well. But coming back in to this space, it's big. It's really, really big. So living, dining, kitchen. You have the sliders. Really awesome. I love how this living space is. This is basically my back isn't up against the door, but the front door is behind me. Big sectional. They even did two chairs. Huge wall, that TV feels so small on it. It's kind of funny. Big, big living space. And then if we turn, we have our front door right there. There's that staircase. I'm trying to come all the way around so you can see everything. And then we have our dining space right here. Hmm, for how big the house is, I'm surprised they didn't just push this out just another like foot to make the dining space bigger because I mean you're almost up against the wall here there is a lot of space over here but if you see that's where the light goes so it's centered it's a little surprising because everything else is so big and then this just feels a little tight awesome kitchen really really nice kitchen and again I do believe these are the upgraded cabinets 100% they added the backsplash but look at the storage there's so much storage and it's kind of interesting. Drawers, drawers, no drawers. But then we have our pot and pan drawers. We have a continent. That's not even an island. That would be hard to get stuff in the middle. There's even storage on this side. We could fit our four bar stools. Before we check out the kitchen though, I just want to see the pantry. So pantry is right here. And 
it's not bad, but seeing some of the other Lennar homes where it's almost like a bunker, again, a little, huh. Nice pantry, but again, with this size home, I know people are gonna want the bigger pantry, like a true, true walk-in pantry. So, let's go all the way over here and then we'll make our way back around and end with that fridge. So, tons of storage. We have our pot and pan drawers. These are awesome because then you don't have to like try to pull everything out from underneath. You just pull the drawer open, there's your pot, there's your pan, and you can kind of see just how big this slab is. So, right here we have our, wa uh, I was gonna say washing machine, our dishwasher, more storage. We have our undermounted sink. Again, you'll get this, you'll get this faucet. This guy right here is for a reverse osmosis filler. They don't give you the system, but they give you the lines and then you can hook it up um, once you take ownership. Right here, I love these, I, I want one. This is an ice maker. So, ice maker right here. More storage, and let you see from this angle. If we spin back around, I don't know if they're giving monogram appliances. I know they're giving gourmet appliances is what it said online. I just don't know if it's this level. Cause usually I know at other communities, they've had two different levels. It was very, very nice, but then there was even a nicer one. I'm guessing these are slightly upgraded just because again, I've seen how they've done business in the past. I don't know about the pot filler. I've heard that it may, may not. And then check this guy out. This is awesome and watch this. This thing even has heating lights. So awesome, awesome vent hood. If you don't know what a pot filler is, basically you move this thing on over and you fill up your bottle or your pot of water. You have to turn it on two spots. One thing I will note about these, you have to use them every so often. Because if you don't and you just leave the water in there and it stagnates, it can get really nasty and be hard on the line. So if you get a pot filler, even if you're not using it, you need to use it like at least like every so often. Again, we have our double oven and then another convection microwave. Tons of storage. Do they give us a phone line in here? Sorry, I just want to back up and see. They did all the way at the other co uh, corner. There is a phone line. And then again, awesome fridge. Now again, with the, one of the other communities that I've dealt with them before, there was two level of fridges. They were both the same size, it was just brand name. So you'll get a fridge like this. I just don't know if it is this fridge, but they're huge. It's actually two separate units. And then they put this middle piece in to hold them together. All in all, <laughs> it's pretty nice. Let me know what you think about it. Is this your style of home? I know some people like the more modern like this look. Some people like the more traditional. I want to hear. Leave a comment down below. Again, with this home, you're going to have to wait quite a few months because they're building them now. The community hasn't even opened. But if you are interested in getting one, please give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. If you have any questions, please reach out. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really does help out the channel. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.